What's going on there, YouTube? What's going on? You know, it's your boy, Big Country. Like and share my videos. Hit that bell notification when you subscribe. Um, I did some videos back that, um, that I was saying, I you know, I was doing this load board, moving the load, and I said I had a little problem with Amazon. I'll let y'all know at a later date. Well, I can let you know now. Last month, late last month, Amazon is spending my account. Don't know what reason. They said there was some irregularity or some bullshit um, going on with the account. Okay. Don't understand that. Don't understand that a bit. So, basically, what I was doing is booking on the lower board. I had my dispatcher. I hired another dispatcher, and I had got this little, you know, part-time dedicated account, which I'm not fond of because um, the base is like 400 and some miles a day on my truck, and what they paying me, you know, definitely has to be so got to be more money. But um, I was running. I missed two days last week, and I didn't work this week. Today is Wednesday because I was having a problem with my truck, some electrical problems with my truck. So the truck was down. So back to the Amazon. I'm sending emails to Amazon. You can't call Amazon. Y'all know Amazon. You're not going to talk to them on the phone. Sending emails, sending emails. My insurance had to be renewed on the 3rd, which it was renewed. I got an email from the insurance part of Amazon saying everything good. Your board is eligible to do all, but it's not. So I'm sending the emails and say, listen, I've been trying to get with someone almost a month now. Nobody have not responded to me to tell me what the problem is. This is this is not uh, good business on y'all y'all part. So I got an email today saying, federal delegation, we're gonna terminate your account for what for what talk about violation what the fuck I violated what I did I violate I went on the Amazon I went on the board at um Facebook Amazon Relay Board, right? Amazon doing it took a lot of drive. The same thing I explained to you, the same email. When I say same email, word for word, from the beginning all the way to the end. So one guy said, listen, I'm not going to tell you who it is, but you know, we do watch the board. If I tell that, you know, we from you know, I work at Amazon. He said, "There's too many of us, and Amazon is random, just picking drivers to terminate them." He said. And I'm telling you this right here because I know I work at Amazon and we watch the board. We random, you know, I like said, we, you know, we say, well, Amazon random is picking drivers who this is just, just get rid of to eliminate some drivers. They say, especially the ones that don't, um, I'm trying to remember what he say. Um, we want to go back to it, but I'm driving. 
that don't base what he's saying and paraphrasing. If you don't kiss Amazon ass and do what Amazon, what Amazon wants you to do and how to do it, it's a problem with them and they're gonna, they're gonna look to get rid of you. Now, you know, let me tell you what, let me tell you why I believe this guy. At one time, I you know there's a couple of times I'm going to pick up a load and it passed at the partial time. And basically, you know, I check in with the guard shack, they check, and it's like they two hours behind, an hour behind, you know, something like that. So when you call ROC and you told you tell them, sometimes they want you to wait. No, I don't think I want to wait because um it's gonna mess me up for my other stops. But they want you to wait. So I, I, I plenty of time I say, well, why do you have departure time rules? And you want to break them when it kind of benefits you. Now I told you it, it, it's already past the departure time. They say the load a load not gonna be ready in an hour or two hours, you know, wherever they're gonna be. You know, I do not want to wait because it's going to mess me up for my other stops, my, the other jobs I got to do. So, you know, you know so they Bob tell you or get you to get it empty to go to your next stop. After a couple of times on that, and then at one time, I pick up, it was a driver broke down. It was a driver broke down and I had to relay, you know, pick up the, you know, get the trailer off him to uh, deliver the load. And they said the driver break down, his brake chain up. But it wasn't, a, it wasn't a driver. They lied to me. It wasn't a driver. It was the trailer brake chain. I sit on side of the road near Delaware on I-95 for nine hours. Nine hours. And they haven't paid me for that time. They haven't paid me for that time. They even threatened me and said, if I would leave that trailer, I would, I would be terminated. I even had one say, if I abandoned that trailer, I would never get another load again. They would have basically blackballed me. They even threatened me. I put it on Facebook like I've been on here so and so time and, and they, the job threatened me. Amazon threatened me. I've been pursuing that delay time for nine hours ever since and that was no film up by November last year. And I, and I told him, I said, listen, you know, I said, email, I said, y'all owe me this right here to prove here's the time that I sit, got the time down, everything that haven't paid me. I, you know, y'all supposed to pay me, you know. The next time I see, my boy got to spend it. Now, they sent me this email and say, that my, my boy has been terminated. And then, and it seems funny, and I, I look on Facebook, on the, on, the, on, the, on the Facebook thing, and every, it was like drivers, man, it was like plenty of drivers was had the same email. So I blow it up and look at it, it was the same email where they write word for word. And finally the guy, you know, a lot of people making comments on it and saying it happened to them too. You know, they're going to sue Amazon because they breached the contract. You know, it's a lot of things they would say they were going to do. And I, I guess, you know, the guy, somebody, you know, was watching from Amazon. That's when he come on the board and he put the, the comment down and say Amazon basically eliminating um, drivers, especially if you don't do what Amazon want to do. So that's 
how this company went. But you know, we you know that because Amazon don't give a damn about the workers or anybody. Nothing but about them and they Jeff Bezos, the, the shareholders, that's all they care about. I got a partner who live in North Carolina, had a contract with Amazon that he posed, he was, you know, well, one of his drivers put a bill like a yard jockey. Move trailers around, get the trailers washed, take it to one part of Charlotte, one facility in Charlotte to the other facility in Charlotte. But they had one him to, the one, my partner driver, to take some loads down to like Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, Savannah, and that was not part of the contract. So my boy told him no. But they said, we need them down there, you know. He told him no, that's not part of the contract. That's, if you want them to take it down there, that's extra money. Amazon tried a couple of times Amazon shut his board down, spinning his, his board. So he got a lawyer. He did the same thing, tried to contact Amazon won't won't contact him. So basically what he did, he got he got a lawyer. And you know, and he suing him. The lawyer said, You got a damn good case. And the lawyer getting the other drivers to get involved with it and say, you know. Say, so y'all have a good case. I'm just gonna tell you right now. And he said, it's not gonna go to court. Amazon gonna try to settle with y'all. And, it, you know, I give him my, my information, my boy, my information, and, and the lawyer talked to me and said, you know, yeah, you got a good case because they need they need to tell you what, why you uh, are spending, why you terminated, and other, you know, the reason, you know, because he said, man, let me tell you, you know, he was, fighting against Amazon for a long time. And this Amazon, this is this how Amazon run. He said, you can never go to court because they're gonna sell it with you out of court. They're not gonna wanna go to court because they don't want the uh, publicity to go against them because they don't want Congress to know the shady stuff they're doing. So comes to be off their ass, cause it happened to one time before. So that basically was the problem with me with Amazon, and you know, I I hated that I don't have that account, cause that was some loads I could have done, but I couldn't get nothing else. And but you know, man, it's like this. I'm not, I'm not worried about it because when one door closed, another door open. And, you know, God, God been opening a lot of doors for me, you know. Um, sometimes you question him, you know, he, you know, he probably laugh you off. But then, so the next time you meet it, the door will start opening. And you start seeing like, ah, I see what you're doing, God, you know. So I'm not, you know, I'm not worrying. I mean, I, I prayed every day. I just asked God to, you know, I got one more year. I got one, about 14 months left on my truck to make the payments. And I'm just praying the Lord that this time next year, and I think it's, I think it, what is it, August? By October, I had my truck paid for. And I'm just praying to God that, you know, he blessed me to have it done. You know, so, you know, it's what it is. But like I said, the problem with my truck, you know, another CPC. And I ain't too long got another CPC. I uh, had a CPC put on. It was a U, but what you expect when you got a used CPC, you know? This is another used one because they're trying to sell them CPCs for about sixteen, seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars $1,800. And two years ago, them CPC was five hundred some dollars, five six hundred some dollars. You know, even this used one cost me six hundred dollars, but I had to bring the old one in, and then I might have to even, even um, get it programmed. So, new text message from nine seven nine five six. 
know, so you know, it's uh, it's 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 gonna it's, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be something. I you know, I hope I can able to, you know plug it in and it'll play it'll work. But you know, nine to ten times I had to get the truck program. So <sighs> wish me luck, bless me, say a prayer for me. You know. We 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 try we try to survive in the day's world with the, the world so much against us. There's so much corruption. There's so much evil in the world. So hopefully, you know, God have mercy on us and everything to be better. So you know, just want to tell you that story. Um, but we, you know, I put some more videos to come. And I'm gonna get in I'm gonna get home and get to this truck and see if this Joker will fire it up. Uh, I, 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 I hope it, you know, I mean, I, I hope when I reset the computer, the computer will, you know, accept this right here. And I ain't gotta get the truck towed somewhere to get it. I, you know, God damn, I ain't thought about that to get a program. So, peace, y'all.